How's it going everyone? The Trout91 here back for a Friday commentary. This time we're going to be talking about moving to different schools. Two Friday commentaries in a row. That's pretty good. That's like one of my best records so far, which says a lot for my records of Friday commentaries. But anyway, enough wasting time. So you guys said you wanted to hear my thoughts on moving schools. Uh, and I thought instead of just doing one, I would do all of them. A little summary of how I feel about it and uh, what to, you know, kind of expect on what to do. You know, I don't expect many people to be needing this, but, you know, if you're going to middle school, as I uh, just get my notes out here. I've written down notes because there was a lot I wanted to say. Should be fine going into middle school. I don't think there's anything to worry about. There's so many teachers and Dylan ladies and stuff on duty that you don't really have to worry. And people don't really become quote-unquote rude boys until they hit high school, so there's not really much I need to say about that. But when you get to high school, stay the hell away from the big kids. You know, when I was in high school, it was eight, year 8 to year 11. And then my school added a sixth form once I reached year 11. And then they added year 7 after I left. So by the time... So now... My school is currently a year 7s to 30. So that's a lot of people. And my high school was big, but it was never... I don't think it's really that big to hold that many people. Like, it must be absolute pandemonium. I know they've done bits and pieces to the school, but nevertheless. There's a lot of people in there. So you need to be careful. Do not get Larry to people older than you. Sometimes they will just randomly pick on you. And you just gotta try and... Do your best to run away and stay the hell out of their way, really, because otherwise you will get caught, and yeah, it might not end very well for you. Because people are just people are just horrible that way. There's nothing you can do. It's a fact of life that people will just pick on people smaller and younger than them just because they feel like they can and they can get I don't know they get jollies out of it. I don't know, but just you know, stay away from them. It helps if you've got siblings. Like your siblings will obviously protect you. Your friends or your siblings will obviously not pick on you and will obviously help you out if someone is picking on them. Like I had my older brother uh, in high school when I was there, so I, w I remained pretty harass-free, to be honest. And it also helped that when I was in year 8 and 9, I played a lot of basketball at lunchtime and at break times, and uh, there were a lot of year 11s and stuff like that who played basketball as well, so we kind of shared the court. And we kind of got, you know, on good terms with them. We played a lot of basketball with them, so they kind of looked out for us here and there. They kept us away from trouble and stuff like that, so that was good of them. And sometimes you just need to, you know, make friends with those who are older than you if you can, if you're lucky enough to be in a situation like that. I know it's not as easy as it sounds because usually they see you and they're like, what are you looking at, runt? And I'm just like, you know, push you in a bush. That was one thing that people love to do when I was at school, was bush people, like, on the walk home and to school. they just, like, push them in a random bush for no reason. I don't really get it, but anyway. So after your adventure in high school, you've done all the high schooly things. It's been so long, I can't remember what those are. But anyway, you go into college or sixth form, and you're in a new place. Some of you might be in a new place. I was in the same place, so it wasn't really much of a difference. I had a lot of my familiar friends there, so it wasn't a big deal for me in that respect. But... You need to try and branch out. If you go into a place that you've never been before with people you don't know, you need to try and branch out. It's nice to have a friend that you can fall back on. Usually if you're going somewhere, unless you're going somewhere completely different or somewhere really different to someone else, you're going to have at least one person that you know that's going there. So you basically want to have that one friend that you can rely on and go back to. But when you're in classes and stuff, you want to try and fan out and you know become friends with people as much as you possibly can. I made the mistake in year 12, which is the first year of uh, sixth form, uh, of sticking with my really close mates. Basically, we just sat around at lunch and break times. We played games and during class didn't really interact with anyone except them. And a lot of them were all in my classes. I think pretty much all of them were in my classes. You know, I had like friends outside of that who I got along with, you know, for years, but they're the kind of friends you say, hey, and you get along with me, have a joke in the class, and then that's it, and there's no more. You never really go out of your way to hang out with them outside of school, which is my problem. And then, at the in end of year at 12, two of my really close mates got absolutely terrible grades, and they basically dropped out and went on to work and do other things, which kind of forced me to kind of branch out and talk to other people, make friends here and there with other people, which was probably a godsend for me. It was, like, such a good thing for me to get out there and talk and hang out with people who I didn't really, you know, have the chance or 
would have normally gone and talked to because when you've got your close friends like why do you really need more friends or people who aren't really that you know alike for you because otherwise you'd obviously be much closer friends with them but that's that basically I was forced to interact with them and I also got an Xbox and some of the, my close mates uh, who I'm not so close with now just because that's how life goes sometimes you move in different directions you don't get the time to see each other you don't get to you know talk and stuff like that and you just eventually become completely different people and that's unfortunate but that's sometimes the way the cookie crumbles and it was good for me to talk to certain people on xbox we had so much in common to talk about introduced me to other friends outside of my circle in their circles and it just like kind of spiral effects to keep you in good graces around the entire thing i don't think there was a single person in my sixth form who i wasn't friends with by the end of it who i got on i pretty much knew everyone you know had a good repertoire with everyone by the end of it and it helps that colleges and sixth forms, the classes are a lot smaller. I think there's some classes I had like less than 10 people in my class, probably like, like the minimum was about eight. And if people were sick or out doing something, you could go down to six or five or something like that. And it gets a little bit more intimate. You kind of become friends a lot more because you're talking with the same people every time. If you're doing group stuff, it's always the same people you're talking to and getting along with. And when you go to exams, you're wishing each other luck. You're helping each other out, doing this, doing that. And you just kind of make very close friends with a lot of people. And it helps if, if you can make someone laugh, you find a common interest, then they'll never really forget you. They'll always be your friend. It just starts to unfold from then on. But... Once you've done the whole sixth form thing, you'll finally be old enough to drink and all that stuff, but you will be going off to uni. And now this is the big one. This is the one that people really want me to talk about because they're not too... It's very different. It is kind of the... You're going to somewhere where you are probably not going to have many of your friends or people that you're familiar with uh, from your previous schools and stuff. You're basically throwing the deep end by itself. And that's basically what it is. You're thrown into the deep end. So what happens? What are you expecting? Every single person is scared. Absolutely scared out of their wits when they go to uni. They don't know what to expect. They don't know who they're going to meet, who their flatmates are going to be, what their class is going to be like, what the town's going to be like, social life. Are they going to get along? Are they going to get bullied? Whatever you have it. It is a scary time. Every single person feels exactly the same way as you. That is one thing you have to remember. Everyone's scared. Everyone's afraid of not fitting in. Everyone's afraid of not making friends. Everyone's afraid of failing, dropping out, and going home. Which is a terrible thing in itself. I've done it, and it was probably the best thing for me at the time. But it's not a nice feeling, being left out and having to drop out, basically. But everyone's scared. Everyone's feeling the same way as you. And you always need to remember that. You basically need to do whatever you can to make friends, because those make friends, because those three uh, few weeks at the beginning are the most crucial of all the time that you're going to be there, because that is where people are going to make their impressions of you. Are they going to be your friend or not? And you need to do your best to try and make as many friends as possible. If you are given an opportunity to go out, even if it is a bad idea, a really bad idea, you've got an exam tomorrow, maybe not. Okay, maybe not that far, but if you've got classes early in the morning or you're really tired or you're not feeling well, do not turn up an opportunity to go out or, you know, hang out with people because people will remember that. They might not ask you again if you turn them down one too many times. You know, turn them down once or twice. But in in that first week or two, it would be a golden rule for me to say to you, do not turn an opportunity down to go and hang out because it will be... That is... Obviously, it's Freshers' Week. No, nobody's going to really turn that many opportunities down in Freshers' Week. But it is one of those things, even after that, you need to make sure that you kind of keep at it and keep in people's minds because out of sight, out of mind. Your housemates are pretty good, you know. You're forced to love them, pretty much. They're there. You're with them for at least a year, whether you like them or hate them. And they're good to fall back on. They're there from the start. They're the first people you're probably going to go out with at, at the start of uni. And obviously, it's good to keep them as good friends. They're always going to be there. They're your fallback friends that you want to go. I don't want to sound really like demeaning and uh, like deviant, but that is basically what they are. They are your fallback friends. They're always going to be there. They're your safety net. If you go out, you try and make friends, it doesn't work out. They're always going to be there. So that's good. But I would make sure you don't get too reliant on them. You need to make friends outside the circles because if you make friends outside of your circle, they'll open you up to their circle who may open you up to other circles and so on and so on. And if you do get reliant on them, you could it could blow up in your face. Like what I did is 
I waited for my, I didn't know that many people outside of the flat. I hadn't really made that many friends outside the flat. I was very nervous, very scared. I wasn't the most socially out, outgoing person. That's, that's wrong. I, I liked going out. I was a socially outgoing person, especially, uh, towards the end of my sixth form days, but it was more the fact that I wasn't very good at being social with other people I didn't know. I didn't know what to say or do or how to feel, which is something I've just kind of naturally learned as my life's gone on, and YouTube certainly played a big part in that, but you need to just go out there. If you see someone, you say, hey, how's it going? What's your name? What are you studying? Where's your halls? What's your team that you support, you know? Go and get a beer with them, you know, maybe you buy them a beer and they'll buy you a beer later and they'll think, what a nice guy, I can't believe he's done that, I, I really didn't expect that, because if you go and make the first move, I know it sounds like I'm now giving you dating tips to probably go and date a man or something, if you are a guy, or a woman to date a woman, but it helps, like, it really does, people will think, what a legend, what a nice guy, he's doing such nice things, maybe I need to go and, uh, stick around with him, because if he's going to do that to a complete stranger, then obviously he's going to be a guy I want to hang around with. It's just chat. Talk about anything. What What's on your mind? Ask them for their opinion on something. What do you think? You know, just have a laugh with them. It doesn't have to really be a long thing. You could talk to them for a minute. Just say, hi, how are you doing? What are you studying? Where are you staying? What team you sport? And then be like, right, I'm going to go see my mates. But it's good talking to you. Hope to see you again. And then you're off. And they'll probably see you again at some point. They might be in your class. And if you meet people in your class, even better. Because then you can make friends with them in class time as well. It's just a lot easier, you know, if you want to make friends with someone, you know, invite them to go and play a game of FIFA. Who doesn't want to get a bit of FIFA raids or play Call of Duty or play a game, anything? You know, FIFA drinking games I've, is all the rage at uni, isn't it? So why don't you get some of that involved? If all else fails, you know, you're not too happy with your housemates and they've pretty much prevented you from uh, going out and being with other people. You could always ask to move uh, flats stay in a different accommodation with some other people who might be a little bit better off in getting you out and about. And then finally, if all else fails in that respect, there's nothing wrong with dropping out. If you've decided it's not working for you and you don't want to do it anymore and you would rather be doing other stuff, don't be afraid to put your hand up and say, it's not working out, I want out. Because you will be miserable if you try and stick it out. You will be absolutely miserable. And that is what I did. I got out there. I came home. I got a job. I then went to uni, close to the home where all I was concerned with was just going to uni, even though I didn't really go that often, but going to uni, getting a degree, and then just getting a job. And that was all I was concerned with in the end. And that's what I decided was best for me. And to be honest, it was probably the best decision I made. Every person is different. So don't let me influence you in thinking that, oh yeah, you should go and do what I'm doing. But it's always a possibility. I hope this video's kind of given you a little bit of insight. It's just like, try and not be yourself, if that makes sense. You know, try and do things you wouldn't normally do is a very good rule to abide by. If you want me to do some follow-up videos, you know, I don't know, maybe some social tips, I guess, how to make friends, how to talk to people a little bit more, then I guess I would certainly be open to that. I kind of frayed over it a little bit in this video. I apologize for the length of this. It's just that there's a lot to talk about. I wanted to get it all done and uh, that's that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please do drop a like if you have enjoyed it and it has helped you out. And I will see you maybe next Friday, certainly in some live streams. I'm on holiday, by the way, so I'm going to be streaming a lot. Link's in the description. I'll see you later.